the U.S. government is struggling to explain more than 170 fresh UFO reports, according to new government, a new document reveals. Nearly half of all new UFO cases opened last year cannot be explained, according to what Pentagon officials state. The U.S. government has been inundated with hundreds of UFO encounter reports in the past year alone, and about half of them remain inexplicable, according to an unclassified document presented and released by the Pentagon on January 12th. The 11-page report, filed by the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, ODNI, reveals that the Pentagon catalogued a total of 510 reports of these alleged sightings of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, or unidentified aerial phenomena, as they're called now, UAPs, as the government prefers to call them. They're largely filed by U.S. military personnel, and of these cases, 366 were newly identified last year. The remaining 144 were identified in a prior ODNI report that looked at UFO data that uh, was uh, totaled between 2004 and 2017. Of the 366 new open cases, 195 have been initially resolved with relatively mundane explanations. According to the report, 26 cases were identified as drones, 163 were classified as balloons or balloon-like entities, ACA, the Chinese spy balloons, I guess, and six were labeled as airborne clutter, such as birds or plastic bags, and these findings fit with prior claims from Pentagon officials that most recent UAP reports were likely the results of foreign surveillance drones and clutter. The remaining 171 cases are still uncharacterized and unattributed due to a lack of detailed data, according to the report. Some of these cases, which involved objects involving moving in unusual or inexplicable ways, remain under investigation. The report declines to mention the possibility of alien involvement in any cases. However, it does state that no encounters with UAP confirmed to contribute directly to adverse health-related effects to the observer. Contrary to a litany of questionable UAP reports released in 2022, claiming that some civilians suffered radiation burns, brain damage, or unaccounted for pregnancy. Now, how is that possible? As a result of UFO encounters, unaccounted for pregnancy? That's very astonishing. Now, those reports date as far as back as 1873 and were not part of the Pentagon's recent investigations. The U.S. government has taken a, uh, I'm sure that means 1973, there must be a typo there. The U.S. government has taken a renewed interest in UFO investigations over the past several years, ever since leaked military footage of several unidentified aircraft moving in seemingly impossible ways made its way its, uh, to the mainstream media. In early 2022, the Pentagon found a new office especially to coordinate and investigate UFO reports from U.S. military personnel. The office is called the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, taken charge of 366 new identified reports and expects to receive many more as the government works to destigmatize UFO UAP reporting in the interest of national security, agency officials claim. And this is by Brandon Spector on Live Science. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.